we had youth intake day and it's really disappointing actually it's very terrible probably the worst one i've had in this uh playthrough unfortunately we've got no one with potential higher than three stars they are just terrible we have offered contracts to a number of them as they were evaluated so these four here nick curtis uh, a center back not gonna make it robbie mcgrath attacking midfielder not gonna make it amir Iv ivkovic uh, also uh, not gonna make it a left winger just not good enough to be honest and aaron hodgin is a goalkeeper who's not going to make it either. Uh, we've only offered those contracts because that's what the director of football asked us to do. We're just kind of filling out the youth players, to be honest. Yeah, we'll see how they get on. We'll follow them uh, internally, but they are not good at all. Today, we take on Birmingham at Anfield. That's one of our games in hand, so we need to win that one. Then we take on Palace uh, at Anfield as well. So two winnable games here for 16th Birmingham and 15th Palace. Then we've got a week off for the first time in god knows how long and we take on man city at anfield they are of course third in the premier league we are second only because only because chelsea have played four more games than us and are three points ahead of us in the table man city have played three more games than us and are currently two points behind us so we're well within a shout of winning the premier league this season then we have our first leg of the champions league quarter final of who we do not know we're playing yet because we haven't had the draw so the draw is coming. It's coming after Birmingham. There it is. Look, oh, that's a semi-final draw. So where's the quarter-final draw? Do I, what is, I don't know why it doesn't come up. I'm not sure what's happening there. The draw will come at some point. Then we have Brentford at Anfield, the last team we actually lost to, but we lost at their place. We're at Anfield this time. They're in ninth. It's going to be another tough game. Need to win it to make sure we stay on top in the Premier League. A strong team going out to play Birmingham. We've got Jules in goal. We've got Kayode, Silva, Hato and Samal making up the back four. Zaya Emery, Santos and Elliot in midfield. Santos playing over Guerra because his recent form has been good. And Guerra has fallen off a cliff. North and Doak are going to start on the wings. Doak is now not pissed off about his game time and he's dropped his lack of football concern. We've got Price up front. Got Trafford on the bench as the backup goalie because Wilson's taken a knock and is out for three days. And Scalvini, Arnold, Williams, Beasley, Guerra, Babich, Ferreira and Ferguson make up the bench. Valley was injured uh, in the last episode. He's out for two to four weeks. That's a big miss there. Aaron Robson's been fantastic this season but misses out on this game. Might play him against Palace. Uh, we'll see how he gets on. Really happy of him this year. Salazar, Azo, Pfeiffer, Rio Wilson and Attila Arosi miss out on this game. Got a good, strong team here today. Want to win against Birmingham. I think we drew with them in the Premier League last time we played them early on in the season. But of course, this is our game in hand. So we need to make sure we capitalise on it. And a win would take us back to the top of the table. Um, would it? Yes, it would. Because it would be three points. We've got a better goal difference than anyone in the league. We've got plus 49 goals, which is mental. Corner. Elliot whips it in. Doesn't find anyone. But Hato's there. There's Price with the shot. It gets blocked. Can we bake a second chance? Doak running down the wing. It finds Kayode, whips it in. North's at the back post. Come on, boys, get the shot away. Ah, oh, Simao gives it away. The highlight's going to continue. Antonio Silva, Kayode. Doak inside to Elliot. Can he find anyone? There's North. He goes through to Price. He's put it over. The goalkeeper saved it, actually. It's now a corner. Back with Elliot. Go on, mate. Find someone's head. Atto. Samal with the throw on the left-hand side. Whips it in. Easily cleared away. Coyote picks it up, though. Runs at the defence. Lovely stuff. Price almost again. This time they get the ball away, and it is McKenna with the block to concede the corner. Can we find a head? No, not so far. And again, he's going to give the ball away there. They're just piling on the pressure here. Loads of teams, by the way, are after our players. Price, North. And all, oh, we've hit the bar. And that's another time I said hit the bar. We've done it again. Might need to bring on Ferguson at half time to try and give us a bit more of a focal point in the centre. Because I think even though Price is getting his shots off, maybe that's where we're struggling a little bit. We need to be a bit more aggressive and firing the balls in. You know, someone a bit taller, a bit more able to get their head on the ball. Antonio Silva does well there. 
Zaya Emery finds Ben. Run at them, mate. Run at them. He does. Koda inside. Oh, does well. Stokes on side. They're playing so defensively well. We're not going to win that. See what I mean? We need someone in there who's going to win that. Oh, Doke's in though. And he scored. 1-0 attempt for the season. It's coming good, Ben, this year. He's done well. He started really poorly. But he's done well here. Get us off the mark just before half time. We deserve it. We've been the better team by far. By miles. They've had no shots whatsoever. We've had 11 and 5 on targets. So we deserve to be 1-0 up. I have made two changes at half time with Ferguson coming on, as I suggested, for Price. And Williams has come on for Samal because he wasn't playing very well. Wasn't really happy with him. And I'm like to give some game time to Williams as Ben Doak is in again. Second goal of the game. Come on. 2 0. I think we've got this in the bag. They're going top of the league again, putting the pressure on every team who's trying to fight for the title this year. We've been the outstand outstanding team, really. The outlier team. It's two. That's a good finish. Looks like they're hemmed it in the corner. They can't get out as we win the ball back. Doke is on for his hat trick. Antonio Silva finds Hatto. Williams to North. What can he do with it? Give it away. He gives it away is what he does. Awful from him. That's a good ball back almost. Ferguson's offside. He's got to be offside there. If he's not offside then the game's broken. He's definitely off. Time to make some more changes, I think. Rest some more players for the Crystal Palace game. Rest those important bodies. Uh, he's miles off. Miles! They've got a... Oh, wow, they've hit the bar from a free kick. And it's over from Dyke. Is that his name? One more effort. Javi Guerra having come on as a sub. Saved by the keeper. We also brought on David Beasley for some game time. And we brought on Alexander-Arnold at right back. They're just trying to save Kyode's legs. Looks like we're going to win here. We're five minutes into stoppage time. We've only five minutes given. Uh, can we get a third goal for that elusive... Oh, my God. We have Ben Doak's got a hat trick. He's got 12 for the season now. And that just adds to our goal difference. What's that? Plus 52 with a 3-0 win. Not bad at all, is it? Not bad at all. We've got to be favourites for the title after winning this game. Lovely ball from Guerra. Gets the assist. Posting in. And it's confirmed... A lovely 3-0 win. Birmingham stay lodged in 16th place. They're seven points ahead of Villa, who are in 18th. Not bad for them. We're now on 70 points. Three games in hand on Chelsea. And uh, yeah, still a long way to go. But it looks like we are in the lead for the race for the title. And here it is, the draw for the quarterfinal of the Champions League. We've got AC Milan, Barcelona, Benfica, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Man City, Liverpool... And Inter Milan. Bloody eight huge teams in this competition. Who do we want? I probably want Benfica. I think we can beat any of them. Real Madrid would be horrendous. But I think we can beat any of them. Inter are very good. Milan are very good in this save. Uh, but yeah, Benfica is the one we want. Let's see. Man City are out of the hat first. They're at home to Real Madrid. What a quarterfinal that is. Uh, uh, Bayern Munich are out next. At home to Inter Milan. Every game is huge at this stage. Barcelona play Benfica, which means we are at home to AC Milan. That is going to be a tough, a tough game. But we're happy with that. We, I mean, whoever you get at this stage of the competition is going to be difficult. But it is where you want to be. And we play AC Milan. We've now got the semi-final draw. Let's see who we get in the semi-finals. Man City and Real Madrid play Bayern or Inter. That means we play Barcelona or Benfica. And whoever wins out of us will be away in the semi-final of the Champions League. Very exciting to play AC Milan at home in the first leg in this episode. Number of changes to bring you for the Crystal Palace game at Anfield. Uh, everybody's playing today, I believe, so make sure we get a win. We'll have a look who the other teams are playing in a second. But we've got Jules in goal. Coyote stays in at right back, while Scalvini and Robson come in to make up the centre-back position. Samal's going to stay on the left. Zaya Emery's going to play. He's going to start this one, but he's going to come off at some point. Guerra and Elliott in midfield. Babich and Ferreira on the wings. Ferreira on the right wing. He's got a very good right foot, Ferreira. And he's actually scored a number of goals from that position already this season. And Ferguson is going to get a start up front. We've got Trafford in goal. Oh, no, we don't want Trafford. Wilson's back, so he can go on the bench. Alongside Silva, Arnold, Williams, Beasley, Santos, North. Erosian Price. 
Uh, the hat trick hero from the last game is absolutely knackered. Breaker's still injured. Uh, Valley is still injured, of course. Hato is tired, and the rest are just kind of miss out, to be perfectly honest with you. Going to have to watch Zaya Emery for this one because he is getting a little bit tired. Got a two week international break after this game. Hopefully, players won't come back too broken and battered. No doubt we'll have someone come back with some sort of injury, whether it's uh, light injuries or rather bad ones. As Elliot almost scores from the free kick, their goal kick. Well, who sit long? The Scalvini wins it in the air. Just give it straight back to him, though. Not ideal. <clears throat> Can we not go 1 0 down here, please? That would be lovely. Scalvini does well. Guerrera and finds Babic. Runs at the right back. Vladimir, or Vlo uh, Radomir, even. He's been selected for Serbia duty, as you'd expect. There's Guerrera to Elliot out wide. There's so much space out on the right for Ferreira. Come back inside. I think I'm going to bring on Alexander Arnold for Zaire Emery at half time and play him as a deep line playmaker. He certainly can play there, so why not? As we whip the ball in! And Ferguson finally gets the goal. It's been a long time since he scored. That's what I wanted him to do in the game against Birmingham, but he does it here, so that's fine. That's what we want to see. It's Ferreira playing on the right with the assist. Was it Ferreira or was it Coyote? I was getting carried away. Yeah, it's definitely Ferreira. Back post. They have made four changes. Williams comes on for some out left back. Of course, we told you about Trent, I believe. He comes on at deep line playmaker. Beasley's come on. He's in here. Oh, how has he missed? Beasley's come on for Elliot. Can we get another goal? It's all about goal difference at the moment, isn't it? We're just flying for goal difference. But no, they do clear it away. And Beasley picks it up after coming on for Elliot. Arnold's gone back to right back while Santos has come on to play deep line playmaker. And that's why, because that is a fantastic ball to the other sub, Attila Arozu, who's come on for Ferguson. And I think he's on side there. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And the goal has been awarded. What a fantastic pass from the Brazilian to the Hungarian. Turns, weaker foot as well. Straight down the middle, one touch from Arozu. And all he needs is the next touch to finish it. And we are two. That is an unbelievable goal. That's got to be one of the goals of the season. Even I want to see it again. He's definitely onside. Is it going to be 3 0? As we whip the ball in, we're forcing them late on to capitulate. As a Rosie's in again. Ah, oh, he's offside that time. And there it is. 2 0 win. Lovely stuff. And that must clear us at the top of the table. Chelsea didn't play today. Man City did. They won 2 0. But they're still. We're five points away from us, and we've still got two games in hand on everybody apart from Everton, uh, who are out of it. Well, we're 22 points ahead of them, so they're no problem, are they? Uh, Man U lost as well, which is good. It means that they're out of it as well. It really is only us, Chelsea, and Man City, and even Man City now being five points behind us are going to struggle to catch us, although we do play them next game. Unbelievably, nobody's come back with an injury after being away on international duty, which is great. Absolutely great. Really happy with that, apart from Rio Wilson. But he wasn't away on international duty. He just got an injury whilst training, but he doesn't really play, so it doesn't really matter. Manchester City then at home in the Premier League. Uh, so Anfield, I think we've beaten them every time we played them so far this season. We certainly beat them in the Carabao Cup final there. And then we played them. I oh, drew one all at the Etihad Stadium. Okay, so big game. Very, very big game. Chelsea play Nottingham Forest. Uh, the other title contenders hopefully a win well a win here today puts us eight points ahead of man city that is what we want and that is what we need we've got julian goal coyote silver scalvini and some out the back line alexander arnold is going to play as a deep line playmaker valley is still injured coming back but still injured zaya emery is too tired to play after being away with france andre santos and elliot in midfield ferreira doke and ferguson is going to stay out front because he scored in the last game and he scored while on international duty. Wilson, Hasso, Williams, Salazar. Zaya Emery Guerra breakers back from his injury but can only do 45 minutes. A Babich and Price on the bench. North, Robson, Beasley, they all miss out. Going to start with Ferguson up front. If he doesn't do anything, you know, we, we seem to struggle to create. We're going to put on Price because Man City are going to play high no matter what. They're going to play like they're a big team because they are. And if we put Price on, he can get in behind them and cause a lot of problems that way. Looks like they're going to have the first highlight on nine minutes. Don't really like that, to be honest. Can we win it high as Gavardiol to Ruben? Rico Lewis, I thought he was injured, but apparently not. Here's Phil Foden. Uh, we could have got closer to him. That is shocking defending from us. 
Eduardo Camavinga has got the goal. Uh, 10 minutes in, 1 0 down is not ideal in this game. Where is he, Camavinga? Look, he's there. Elliot doesn't follow him. Antonio Alexander Arnold's out of position. Awful. There's Gavardio. They're going to score again, aren't they? We're going to lose here because. Uh, because it doesn't want us to be eight points ahead of them. We are unbeaten in the Premier League so far. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case any longer. As they are 2-0 up through Camavinga. I'm going to berate the team because I don't know what the hell's going on here. But we, they've, had, they've had eight shots, six on target with Azira. Are you kidding me? Look how open we are. Can we get one back? We need one back quick. Elliot. Scalvini. Come on. Get a goal, boys. We are really struggling here. As we get the ball in again, it's cleared away by Ruben this time. Ben Doak does pick it up. Whips it in. That's a poor cross. It's so low. Go on, Santos. Hit it. Oh, he's hit the bar again. Come on. Are we finally starting to put on some form of pressure? This Ferreira to Ferguson does well to hold it up. Arnold's a great passer of the ball. We should be really good at spraying it around in that midfield. Ben Doak should have the beating of Doyle at left back. Doesn't seem to at the moment. All the way back to Jules. I mean, we're keeping hold of the ball. That's good, but come on. Let's try and do something. Ferreira. Back to Santos. That's poor. Elliot's not going to win that. I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. Oh, Ferreira. I thought it was going to run at them. Almost. Almost got the ball through. Doak's on side. There's Ferguson. That's a goal. Come on. Don't be offside. Ben Doak was on there. I'm sure he was on. Please be on. Please be on. Oh. Is he offside? Is he? Oh, God. That is so tight. They've had 12 shots. 12 shots at Anfield, they've had. 12. Look at the stats. It's unbelievable. They are killing us. And we have lost 2-0 the final score. I did everything I could. I put uh, all five subs came on, of course. I went to a 4-2-3-1. We played absolutely terribly. This is the worst game of the season so far. That's our first loss in the Premier League. And that means Man City are now two points behind us. If Chelsea win their game against Nottingham Forest at the 3 o'clock kickoff, they'll be level on points. We'll only have one game in hand. Absolutely shocking. I cannot believe the ratings of this team. You see it there? You can. It's just fucking terrible. Okay. Our first loss in the Premier League was really disappointing against City. So let's hope we can go out and do some magic against AC Milan at Anfield. We've got Jules in goal. Alexander-Arnold is coming in at right back. We've got Silva, Hato and Williams making up the rest of the back four. Zaya, Emery, Guerra and Beasley make up the midfield. Ferreira, Doak and Price up front. Wilson, Silva, Samal, Salazar, Keode, Santos, Breaker, Babic, Ferguson, Robson, Elliott and DeRozzi make up the bench. Need a good result here at home because going away to the San Siro is going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. Scalvini gets another start today. Uh, really disappointed with him in the big games. I think it's time to move him on. I think I might sell him in the summer along with one Evan Ferguson, who is the other player I want to let go. Milan are a very difficult team. They're going to be very difficult to beat. They've got fantastic players. Literally most of their players are on my shortlist because I, I keep a big shortlist of players that I monitor. And they've got a lot of fantastic talent. So let's see how we get on. Just like they've got a free kick. They've got Gavi. Because he would some reason leave Barcelona. And it is Gonzalo Inacio with the goal. We're 1-0 down after the first minute. A collapse at this stage of the season. Is going to be catastrophic. It's a good save by Jules initially. But the follow up is met by Ignacio. And we don't clear it away. The Ferreira whips the ball in. Hato just over the bar. Kamari. Rafa Leal. Um, that's really poor defending from us yet again. Oh, I was so convinced they were going to be 2-0 up there. Enric. Kalulu to Inacio. Heimland. They're just playing it around us like we're not even there. It's so easy. For How is D Doku? That is Manchester City's Doku. How is he winning anything in the air against Hato and Scalvini? It's just ridiculous. That's a good ball through to Price. Runs onto it nicely. Gets down the wing. Does well. There's Ferreira. He tries to find Doak, but nobody was in the middle because Price was doing all the running. Beasley cuts it out. He is in now, though. They've 
Fucking goalkeeper saves it. How did he save it? We've got a corner though. And Ferreira whips it in. And finds Price. Hit it, Price. Somebody shoot. Anybody shoot, please. Why didn't Price shoot? Don't go all the way back. Let's make something of this. Go on, Ben. Yes, keep going. There's Ferreira. Cross it in. Oh. Henrik. Oh, Guerrero does so well winning that high. Oh, he's lost out though. No support from anybody in the team there. And they're running down our flank now quite easily, Enric. Oh, they're playing it around so well. I thought that was, again, I thought that was going to be another goal. Made three changes to the front line. Breaker came on for Doak. Babich is on for Ferreira. And Arozi is on for Price, simply due to tired legs as we almost give the ball away there. But it's gone round to Guerra. He's through. Yes! 1-0. Back in the game. What a move. What a goal. Javi Guerra, who has been falling short and actually being left out the side for Santos, is back in today. Gets forward nicely. Good little finish. I mean, the goalkeeper, after all his brilliant saves, useless there. Looks like they're on the attack straight away with Enric to Javi. Enric. Need to win that high. We don't. And they've scored. We weren't, we weren't in the lead for very long, were we? What's that then? Is that like two minutes? Yeah, two minutes and we've conceded. Scalvini's gone for me. He's absolutely gone. It's on the left. I mean, Hato should do well. Hato should do better. He's well out of position. Raum. He had it away. He was our player, wasn't he? He was our left back as they almost score a third. He sold him to uh, AC Milan and he's still there. Okay, that is really, really not good. 2-1 against AC Milan, and it's going to be really difficult to turn this around at their place. Two losses in a row for the first time this season. We were absolutely shocking there as well. I don't know what's happened. We've just literally fallen off a cliff yet again. We really need to sort this out. Sheffield United next is a good way for us to try and get a win back on the board. Sheffield United are 20th in the league, so we're playing a bit of a rotated squad for this one. And I'm putting a little bit of a risk because if we lose, we're in trouble. The other games in the Premier League, Man City have Man United. Massive derby game there, hoping Man United do us a favour. And of course, Chelsea, who do they play? Newcastle. So very big game there as well. Uh, Newcastle are in fifth. Oh, Chelsea still in second. And Man U, Man U and Man City are in fourth and third, respectively. Sheffield United are bottom. They're already relegated. They've only got nine points this season. I'm hoping that the team we put out today is enough to beat them. We've got Jules in goal. In fact, we're going to put Wilson in goal. Nah, let's stick with Jules. Jules in goal. Salazar gets a start. Scalvini, Robson, Williams. Zaya, Emery, Guerra, Beasley, Breaker, Babich and Ferguson up front. Wilson, Silva, Simao, Coyote, Elliot, Santos, Doak, Ferreira and Price on the bench just in case we need a bit of extra firepower and to keep the match fit. Three big players I'm thinking of letting go in the summer. Evan Ferguson, Scalvini and Alexander-Arnold. I'm thinking of letting all three of those players go. They're all on big wages. Uh, they're, you know, Evan Ferguson's been un unhappy all season. Alexander Arnold isn't the player he used to be. He expects to start every game. Won't. And Scalvini's just been disappointing in the big games. He hasn't shown up. He hasn't done what we expect him to do. Williams finds Emery. Back to Williams. Abich does well. Guerra. Poor pass. There is Scalvini, picks it up, runs down the wing, does find Salazar. Oh, is it the post from a deflection? That's a penalty, surely ref. No? Gotta be. Beasley whips the ball in. There's Scalvini and it's in by Guerra. Can't be offside. That's two goals and two for him, as long as it counts. I'm pretty sure he was onside. Yeah, he was onside. Good ball in by Beasley, headed on by Scalvini. And there's Guerra. Perhaps we should just play Giorgio Scalvini against the weaker teams. We've made all five changes. We are in the 80th minute. Nothing's happened in the second half. Uh, Santos came on for Zaya Emery at half time. We've got Simao on for um, Williams. Elliott's come on for Beasley. Ben Doak's come on the right for Breaker. And Price is on for Ferguson. So we brought on sort of better players. In, oh, that's a real poor pass. 
Uh, Dope does well though, and here's Elliot running at the fullback. Does well. There's no one in the box. Literally nobody's in the box to head that in. There's Santos finds Guerrera. Back to Santos. There's Samal. Can somebody make a run? Elliot has. We've won the game. We've got the three points. Now, the Man City Man U game, Chelsea Newcastle game don't start until the evening. And so we won't know what their scoreline will be, but at least we know we've got the three points. That's the most important thing. Guerrero with a goal and assist today. Good volley by Elliot. Great goal. Scalvini to Elliot. Robson, he's played well. So is Scalvini as, as well, but I'm still annoyed with him. There's Price on the ball. All the way back to Santos. Samal just kicks it at the fullback. What's that all about? He literally just kicks it at him. Uh, they've gone high. We should win that. Samal does win it. I was hoping Robson would actually win it. Ah, he's off. Whatever his name is, he's off. And there it is. A good 2-0 win. And that leaves us three points ahead of Chelsea. We've still got a game in hand on those below us. However, there will be two games in hand by the time they play later on today. We're going to find out what those scores are before we leave. So the Man City Man U game ended one all, which means we're four points ahead of Man City now. And we've also qualified for the Champions League next year. So we can only finish first to fourth, which is great. In fact, I don't think we can finish fourth. We can finish uh, one, uh, first to third. So that's good. Four points, the difference now. Let's have a look at what the Chelsea results are going to be. We've got initial budgets for next season. 5.75 um per week in terms of wages and we've got a transfer budget of 21.59 million so 22 21 million uh, that's not a lot by the way it's not a lot of money we're spending some of that already i've made offers for players uh, young players and i'll tell you about them shortly let's have a look at the game first chelsea drew they drew one over newcastle so that loss against man city doesn't do the entire damage I thought it was going to do. We're still two games ahead of them uh, with two points, the difference between us and Chelsea. Now, that's good news for us. Absolutely fantastic. Let's have a quick look at the transfers. We have made an offer and given a transfer to Branko Vidic, young 19-year-old Serbian goalkeeper. Another goalie. I might, excuse me, I might sell Trafford in the off-season as well. And I might consider setting Jules. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on the goalkeeper situation. Might even be a case of loaning out Wilson uh, and selling Trafford, bringing in Vidic. I don't know. We'll see how it works. There's ways around it. We'll see how that goes. Also, Nikita Bakic, a very young 18-year-old Serbian striker. He looks absolutely fantastic. He's already three stars. Guess who he is going to replace in the team? Guess who he is going to replace in the team? We're only playing six million for him, and we're paying five million for Branko. A Vidic and uh, we are going to try and bring in another player or five uh, all wonder kids by the way 